Okay, God bless you so much. Thank you, my viewers. My name is Pastor Eric, and I thank God for this time that God has given us. Today, I want to share to us about uh, the sonship that we have in Christ, the sonship that we have in Christ. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation, and the old things are past, the new things have come. We are creatures. We have been, we, we have been renewed. We, there is a new man that comes in us when we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. Immediately when you receive Jesus Christ there is, there is a new man that comes up. There is a new spirit that comes inside of you and that's why we have received the Spirit of God. He has made us like God. He has made us the sons of God. The Bible says, as many whom he called, he gave them power to become sons of God. So we have been called with a higher calling to become sons in the kingdom of God. And the Bible says, as Paul explains that we are partakers together with Christ Jesus. The Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 17, that as he is, so are we in this world. For what has made us to be as Christ is in this in this world the bible says that uh, we have been bought by an expensive blood let me tell you man we have not been bought by by by, by the blood of gods or the by the blood of, uh, of of cows we have been bought by an expensive blood the blood of jesus christ the bible says in the book of john that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free that means when you have christ in you the the, the, the wisdom and the knowledge of god comes inside of you because as you remember when Jesus was in this world, as he walked his life the way he lived, he was showing us that it is possible to live with godliness with this kind of a body that we have. And I want to remind you, uh, most of the people have been lost because we don't really understand what Christianity is. But I want to say Christianity is more than our thoughts. Christianity is more than our works. Because when Christ came into us, we were changed. We were transformed. There is something new that came into us. That means that he became poor. As the Bible says, he became poor. Jesus was not poor from the beginning. But the Bible says he became poor so that we may be rich the bible says that he became he became he carried our sicknesses so that we may not suffer but have everlasting life but have divine health in us so whatever christ had we received it jesus became what we were there was an exchange of him becoming what we were and us becoming what he, he was and remember the bible says that he died and on the third day he rose that means that he killed the sick man he killed the weak man he killed that man that we were before he died and rose again and the bible says we died together with him and we rose together with him so the bible has, has shown us the christ that is in us the nature of god that is in us that whatever christ us we are partakers in the glory Glory of God or for the glory of God we have what Jesus has that Jesus has ha, ha, Jesus is rich so I am rich Jesus is great so I am great so we have it as he is so are we in this world 